Are you good? Doesn't? Does your dog just love being smacked in the face? <laughs> Uh, this vlog is a complete mess. It's from the last like week and I just vlogged a little bit each day There's all kinds of footage from all over the place My weeks and my life are kind of like that just a bit of a mess. I have like, you know, three or four different jobs and I'm just like a big mess. Anyway, I thought I would start this video off with a story time about this cat I cat sat once and it's horrifying so what happened was is that it was like a like someone from my work um needed me to house sit their house so they could go to a wedding and they were away for a week at that point i hadn't had much experience with cats before and so i didn't understand many cat behaviors the first night i was there i was sitting on the couch and this cat was like all over me and i was like oh my god it loves me and this is gonna be so cute and fun and cuddly and fun so this cat is rubbing its face against mine, but it's doing it with its teeth. And it's rubbing its teeth against my face, my nose, like across my eye. Called my sister and I was like, oh, is this like good? Like this cat loves me. And she's like, no, that cat is like assertively telling you to get out. Like get out of its territory. It's like threatening you. And I was like, Oh, and then all the other little things it started doing made me go like, oh, okay, like this is, this is not good. Then I fed it and then I went up to the room and looked at the bed and the whole bed had this huge yellow stain in the middle of the bed. It had peed in the middle of the guest bed, which is when I was sleeping in, so I was like, <sighs> Okay, it doesn't want me to be here, but it's fine. So I stripped the bed, laid down some towels, slept on it. That was the first night. Shut the door, didn't let it in. The next morning, I opened the door. The cat runs in, runs into the, the ensuite bathroom, looks me dead in the eye, and pisses on the floor. Dead, staring at me. It was like, get out. And just like peeing on the floor. So that was the first like 12 hours I spent with this cat. And I had a week. And I was like, oh, this is going to be hard. I didn't tell the owners because, you know, they. It, it, the vibe I got was that they haven't been on a holiday in forever. You know, this is like, it, it's a big deal that they're having some time off. So I was like, you know what, it's fine. Like, I'm not going to tell them. I'm just going to, like, power through and I'll let them know when they come home. I was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't kill your parents. Your parents are coming back. I'm so sorry. And I was chatting to her and, you know, trying to, like, pat it and touch it. And it just didn't want to bar of me. Fast forward to the last night that I'm there and what I realized is that every couple of days I'd gone and checked the litter tray and I was like hmm it like hasn't used the litter tray yet like there's like this cat is stressed so all of a sudden I just had this feeling to like walk around the house I hadn't really walked around the house since I've been there because it's not my house not gonna do that. I'm just gonna use the lounge room, use the kitchen, use the bed. That's it. And I just decided to like poke around, have a look around, and I was like, maybe the cat has been hanging out somewhere else. I don't know. I go into the master bedroom, which is the cat's owner's bedroom. This cat has pooped all over the bed. There are like seven or eight humongous dog-sized turds on this bed there's all these like piss patches like this cat has just massacred its owner's bed it's like you for leaving Ugh! this cat did not care it just looked at me and was like curling its tail around it was like get out my house bit. so then i just picked up all the poop stripped their bed put it in the washing machine turned it on and i was like i sent her a text being like so 
hope you had a great holiday. Just letting you know your cat really missed you and kind of tormented me and pooped everywhere and just a heads up your bedding's probably ruined but I've chucked it in the wash just in case it's salvageable. That, that bed set was dead. Like the pillows, the lining, the mattress protector, like everything was just like obliterated by this like cat's fecal matter. And yeah, and the owners were mortified and they were like, oh my gosh, our cat's never done that before. And I'm like, sure, sure. Uh, and I'm like, this is why they can't go on holiday because their cat is like a serial killer. Um, and I have not cat sat a cat ever since because cats love their owners and no one else. So that's that. Okay, um, the vlog starts here. Uh, you're welcome. Good luck. Bye. I'm sitting here in the office. It is a mess in here right now. Um, such a mess. Oh, and I have my Red Bull. It's one in the afternoon on a Sunday. So I posted my video this morning and then um, I've been replying to comments. I went and got my nails done. I don't normally get my nails done, but my mum paid for me to get mine done for like Christmas nails for Christmas and it was so cute and then they've like grown heaps and I had like this huge like gap between the cuticle and the, and the um polish the SNS so I went and got this like black but they're like blue in the sunlight which is cool and I have some graphic design stuff to do I have some emails to reply to and then I might get started editing um uh, my video that I'm gonna post this week which is like a Ragged Priest Goodbye Bread haul video. I haven't done one of them for a while, so I thought it was due for one of those. You guys really seem to like them. <coughs> yes, sweetie? Sweetie? So I'm currently working on this. So this is a design I'm working for my friend um, Taylor Chang. She has she has a radio show, so I'm making her a new like a new graphic for it, so she can use it on her Instagram post. So I um, this is the inspo that I went with, and then this is what I created. So I got some layers in here, like I've got a few layers for the phone. So I got this cool pixelated background, I've graphicked out this phone, and then I downloaded like a sparkly brush. I'll show you. I should probably be screen recording this, but whatever, but how cute is that? And then I just um, pixelated it for these ones, just to give it a bit more, see how it's got that like pixelated like texture to it, so it kind of sits in a bit better. This background, I pretty much got a couple of images from Pinterest and like put them together and then triple flipped it together and then added like a little background. Um, but it looks really cool and I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, never ask me to do graphic design for you because it will take me months to get around to doing it because I hate doing graphic design. It is not enjoyable ask me to do a painting but i'll have that done within the week um graphic design though taylor asked me to do this in september and i'm just doing it now and it is january <laughs> yeah i um i pretty much like only do graphics for like my friends um or if someone has like a really cool idea that's like really up my alley then i'm like okay i'll enjoy doing this something that like i don't know i always relate to with anything artistic is um everything looks hideous until the last 15 minutes and this is what this design looked like and like two hours into designing it and it looks disgusting disgusting um when now it looks great i've driven to jackson's house and now we're going to the gym <laughs> see jackson's not feeling so good today <laughs> i'm happy everything's fine <laughs> so i've started going to the gym like six weeks ago now we're up to six weeks, five weeks, six weeks. So I've always been like way too afraid to go to the gym. I, because you know, I'm like a scrawny girl who can't even lift an encyclopedia. Also like, I don't know, gyms are so terrifying. Um, everyone's like in 
tight clothing and is like fit and has been going for years and I have like zero experience that's always really daunting in general like any experience as a concept like that is daunting Jackson has been an angel Jackson goes to the gym every day though so he is like a, a gym person I'm keeping you off camera so you can just like oh, so I don't have to make smile okay, you can just be yourself okay. just sound happy <laughs> Anyway, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'd say my favorite machine is the lat pull downs. Yeah, you like that one. That's my favorite. Yeah, you're good at that one. I'm good at that one? Yeah. You're good at all. How would you review my gym machine use? Um, good. You, she's, you've picked it up quickly, which is good. I'm just good at following instructions. Yeah. It's just good because you didn't try and break any world records on your first time <laughs> and now you know how to do it properly yeah so when you feel like doing is that the best vision, you would that's the best advice you would give like don't try and break world records first time yeah just go no weight at all until you know how to do it properly otherwise you're not like if you have weight on and you, like you won't even end up using the muscle that you're trying to hit because yeah. your body doesn't know what it's doing you just it's end just, up joint using yeah, your joints you'll get hell bulk joints <laughs> <and> bones <laughs> just um start with no weight yeah. Yeah, and that's what we've been doing, just starting with no weight and adding little bits of weight and seeing how it goes. Unless you're a boy, then use weights, you fucking pussies. <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> okay. Don't put that in. <laughs> oh, I'm putting it in. <laughs> I'm a big red tomato. <laughs> Are you? Yes. Good. That Are makes... you proud? I did good? Yeah, you did good. She did really well. We trained legs. I'm a tomato. Tomato out. This is all Vigo wants. As long as your face is on his face, he's happy. Are you happy? This is all you wanted. <laughs> this is all he wants. I uh, try my hardest to finish my um, Ragged Preschool Bar Bread video. Um, it's like 90% there. I, You know when you've like been working on something for so long and you're like, is this shit? <laughs> like, is this average? And my eyes are like half closed for most of it because I'm really tired and sleepy um, and I used all my brain cells earlier that day when I, before I filmed to do like a makeup look for Instagram and um, yeah I don't know but I don't have enough time to come up with like another video before I fly out to Melbourne I fly out tomorrow at like three in the afternoon and I spent yesterday also cleaning my house for a rent inspection I live with my sister so I'm trying to do my part um, yesterday uh, and I'll do the rest tomorrow morning before I fly out. I also attempted to pack my bag uh, by literally just getting the suit suitcase and putting it on the floor. <laughs> uh, so today I have work at, um, uh, I work for a small little store in Fremantle. Been there for like three years now um, and I get to sell my artwork in there which is awesome. I'm the only employee, um, so uh, the owner, she will kind of like call me in when she needs me. So some weeks I won't have work and then some weeks I'll have like a few days. So I'm there for one day today and then I'll have a shift when, in like a week when I get back from Melbourne, which is cool. Um, it's like super flexible. It's really like, it's something that I'm really good at. I'm really good at retail because it's like all I've done. Um, so I'm really good at serving customers, visual merchandising, stock. I don't know, just being like positive, <laughs> positive reinforcement and emotional support for small business owners. That's my jam, here to help. Anyway, so my outfit today is this, um, it's called, I think they're called NYCX um, Paris. This t-shirt and some dime piece bike shorts and my skate highs and some 40s and shorty socks and this little mustard scrunchie it's pretty cute 
oh I ended up the house and I was like ew no I am disgusting so I just put on some eyeliner and some highlight and lashes and I now look like a functioning person so I'm gonna go to work um I'll see you after work I've got to go pick up some artwork from a pub because I've been invited to be in an exhibition on Friday so I'm gonna go pick up whatever framed artwork I have floating around I know I have two pieces at like a pub um, in Frio and um, I have a couple of pieces in the store so I might be able to give them like three or four pieces for this exhibition on Friday I've got to get it to them somehow I'll figure that out This vlog is going to be so boring. If you want like a chill vlog, this is the vlog for you. <laughs> Actually, so I do have a little bit of work to do today that isn't just the video. I am doing, I've got some sponsored posts for this like laser, like IPL laser hand set. I've already done the photo content for a few posts, which will be over the next couple of months. Um, and then I've got to do some Instagram stories. So I think this apartment is way more aesthetic than my house, <laughs> which is just like a big turd, uh, a big visual turd. I might shave my arm and laser my arm. <gasps> I could do my hands. <gasps> oh, that's exciting. I've got really hairy like fingers and like the top of my hands quite hairy, but because I'm so blonde, it like doesn't show up but like I notice it I've already been using it for a couple of weeks and I really like it I've got to do my first post tonight so I hope you guys like that it's very rare I get like sponsored posts and it's like sponsored videos are a little bit easier because because people on YouTube get it like they get that we need to sponsor things to like live and keep delivering content. Um, when Instagram, people don't like seeing sponsored posts. And I think it will just, I think people who use Instagram are like, it's like they're coming around and they're understanding that, you know, if they want their faves to post sick stuff, they also need to post the obligatory sponsored posts to get by. I don't know when my next art gig, like paid art gig, I don't know when a lot of things are gonna be. So another thing I've got to work on today, because I have a bit of work to do, is uh, so my friend, my florist friends at Sir Botanical, they are doing like a Valentine's Day special where they're doing pre-orders and they want me to design them a Valentine's Day card. So I'm gonna do that. So um, I just dragged the file into YouTube to upload it and Kelly's internet says it will only take two hours and 45, 46, 45 minutes. What the hell? So I am really happy that I didn't stay up overnight at my house to upload my videos, which is usually what I do, usually. I will, because it takes 8 to 12 hours to upload a video, I usually drag it in at like bedtime and then I'll have the laptop on my bed and spend all night keeping the laptop open and alive so that it keeps uploading because if the laptop goes to sleep it stops uploading. And that's what I do. I literally, I'm just pretty much half awake, half asleep all night. It's not healthy. <laughs>
Okay, so I feel like I've been really bad at vlogging this whole trip and I'm sorry. This is why I don't do vlogs. You're welcome. <laughs> this is why I just don't do them because I'm, I don't know, I just am like too, I don't know, I met a lot of nice new people and I wanted to just like spend time with them and ask them lots of questions. <laughs> And that was that. So I'm really sorry. You asked for a vlog and I'm trying. I'm trying my best. So anyway, we went to Unify. <laughs> that was fabulous. Um, and we got there at like six o'clock and it was so great because we didn't have to camp and we stayed in this really cute airbnb with all of kelly's friends and it was so pleasant Lots of sexual trivia. yes there was this like random there was this it was like a really weird airbnb i wish i took photos of the things there were all these like phallic objects everywhere there was lots of dolphin pictures there was um lots of board games that were like sexual board games and we were like where have we booked? <laughs> um, it was great. And then, um, yeah, we had such a great time. Kelly and I escaped and got toasties, um, which was great. Here is a clip of that. Okay, so we're having a little break from Unify. <laughs> We've come back to the car so I could get my cardigan because I'm stupid and left it in the car. Thank you, Kelly, for being the supportive, loving friend that you are. Um, and then, but then we decided to move the car really close to where we're all hanging out. So now, as soon as Taking Back Sunday finishes, we just walk 10 meters, get in the car, and go home. Perfect plan. Back to bed. Oh, back to bed. <laughs> I'm so excited. And we have vegan and gluten-free toasties. Ching! <laughs> and then, yeah, Taking Back Sunday and Citizen were amazing. Very happy. Um. And, and Trophy Eyes was so great as well. We're very proud. Um, and then we came back and we pretty much like slobbed on the couch all day yesterday and watched Twilight and ate hash browns. And it was like the best day ever. <laughs> Do you ever just eat a whole bag of hash browns? <laughs> I call it a meal. <laughs> yeah, it's a, hash browns are a round meal. If anyone who wants to fight me, comment down below and I'll fight you. <laughs> uh yeah so now it's the last day i go home tonight i'm so sad but also happy to go home and becky just called me and said that she has a shift for me at the groomers so i'm gonna wash dogs on wednesday i'm so excited <laughs> i found it so this i had so many comments in my video saying the extreme the citrusy smell is this one so i'm gonna go home and try this yeah. what are we Oh, when we went out for dinner and we went to this really nice vegan Vietnamese place and it was delicious. And then we went to this place called Girls and Boys and I had a mint choc chip ice cream with a gluten-free cone. And I have not had mint choc chip ice cream since I was like 12, just before I decided to start pooping my pants whenever I had dairy. And um, it was the best. How happy was I about the ice cream? I'm not very I was like, holy shit, I'm not going to poop my pants. Very good times. <laughs> anyway, and now we're going to a Japanese place. What's it called? Pico Pico. Pico Pico. And I'm so excited to eat more food. So yes, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>